Hello, this video will cover the newest features available in the CN Maestro 5.1.1 release. The CN Maestro 5.1.1 release brings a major update to our platform with market apps, an advanced service within CN Maestro designed to provide tailored apps for streamlining network management. These apps are for the multi dwelling unit market. We have managed Wi Fi and self service personal Wi Fi. These enable administrators, property managers, and residents to easily manage Wi Fi access with a simplified workflow. This release also strengthens network security by introducing high availability for the NSE, ensuring a more secure and reliable network. For your convenience, I have added a timeline of when each of these new features appear in this video so that you can quickly locate the feature if you should wish to view it at any time in the future. Market Apps is a service in CN Maestro that offers specialized tools which will benefit Cambium MSPs, system integrators, VARs, end customers, ecosystem partners, and others by addressing the unique challenges each group faces when managing the Wi-Fi network in their environment. The apps can be used by CN Maestro users or non-CN Maestro users. For the non-CN Maestro user, the app can be a web app or a mobile app. We have introduced the market app service with two distinct apps and over time, we will add to the market apps portfolio with new apps specific to different use cases. The first two apps released for market apps are specific to MDU oriented cases, such as apartments or condominiums or assisted living facilities. The MDU apps provide specialized tools that enhance operational simplicity and efficiency and caters to the distinct requirements of the administrator, property managers, and residents. Before creating and configuring the market app for MDUs, it is important to understand the workflow, which includes several prerequisite steps that must be completed in CN Maestro before configuring the market app. These steps include creating a managed account, a land, and a site in the network tree. Then you will need to create and configure wireless LANs and AP groups. And finally, you will need to claim the devices, pre-provision, and approve them to complete the onboarding process. As the CN Maestro administrator, you will now create the market app. Navigate to Network Services, Market Apps, and then click Add New. I'll name this market app Alamo Downs and select the Alamo Downs managed account. Now I have the option of selecting managed Wi-Fi or self-service personal Wi-Fi. To create the managed Wi-Fi market app, select managed Wi-Fi and then click save and continue. Enter a brief description that clearly explains the intended purpose or specific details of this market app configuration. The settings page enables you to configure advanced settings for your Wi-Fi network. Community Wi-Fi allows property managers to set up and manage a single SSID for all residents within a property. This configuration is designed to provide centralized control over Wi-Fi access while ensuring a common SSID for all users to be used in common areas across the properties, such as at the mailbox or tennis courts or pool area or the office areas. To configure community Wi-Fi, select the wireless LAN for the community-wide Wi-Fi network the personal Wi-Fi option in Market Apps allows residents to set up and manage their own personalized Wi-Fi networks within the community. To configure personal Wi-Fi, 
Select the wireless LAN for the personal Wi-Fi network from the wireless LAN drop-down list. And then enable the option for residents to configure their own personalized settings. You can allow the property managers to suspend or terminate internet service. And then you need to enter the property manager's email address so that they will receive an invitation to manage the property Wi-Fi. This allows property managers to activate and oversee internet services for residents within their property. The Design tab in Market Apps allows you to customize the branding and appearance of the property and resident portals by adding a login page title, the property name, a logo, customizing the color scheme, adding a privacy page URL and a terms and conditions page URL, and customizing the powered by company name. Click Save. And on the Units page, go to the Import Units section and import a CSV file with the AP name and unit number it is going into. And click Save. This will trigger the system generated email to the property manager. Once the email is opened, the property manager should click the sign in button. This will trigger a message with the one time sign in link. This will trigger an automated email that will take the property manager to the Wi Fi Manager app. The property manager must accept the privacy policy and the terms of condition. The Wi-Fi Manager app page opens where the property manager can see the APs assigned to his property. The APs are represented by buttons that show whether the AP is assigned or unassigned to a residential unit. The buttons across the top of the page allow the property manager to assign an AP to an apartment, send a portal link to a current resident, suspend network access, or extend network access, or terminate network access. When a customer signs a lease and becomes a resident, the property manager will hover his mouse over the unit the customer is moving into and click Assign Unit. Then he needs to enter the resident's full name, email address, and optionally provide a description. Then he can select the starting and ending dates of the lease and then click Assign Unit. This will trigger an automated email to the resident informing them that their Wi-Fi network is now active. They can click the Sign In button to view or update their network SSID and password. This will trigger an automated message with a one-time sign-in link. The resident will now check his email account, open the automated email, and click Go to Wi-Fi Resident App. The resident will need to accept the privacy policy and terms of service before continuing. If the resident wants to create a custom SSID and or password, he should click the Change button and customize the network name and password. Now let's take a look at the self-service personal Wi-Fi option in Market Apps. Navigate to Network Services, Market Apps, and then click Add New. Give the Market App a name. Select the Managed Account, select the Self-Service Wi-Fi Portal, and then click Save and Continue. The Settings page allows residents to create personalized SSIDs for their units, allowing them to customize their network identification and the passwords. 
Select the wireless LAN created for the personal Wi-Fi network in the drop-down list. In areas of unreliable cellular service, the Enable Open SSID option allows residents to connect to the internet, scan the QR code, and access the resident portal to change their Wi-Fi SSID and password. On the design page, the administrator can customize the login title, the property name, and insert a logo. He can then select a color theme and insert the privacy URL and the terms of condition URL. Then he can select show powered by and enter the company name. Now the network administrator will import APs into the market apps using a CSV file configured with the AP serial number, apartment number, personal SSID, and password. Click Import and Override to finalize the import process. Now the network administrator will print the QR codes for the APs and place them in the apartment where the new resident can find and scan the code. Now when the resident receives the QR code, they will need to scan it using their mobile device to get a one-time link to access the Wi-Fi resident app. The resident will need to enter their email address and click the Send Me One-Time Link. When they open the email, they will need to click Go to Wi-Fi Manager App. And then they will need to accept the terms and conditions, activate the network, and then on the Welcome page, click Change, a new window entitled Change Wi-Fi Settings appears. They can change their personal Wi-Fi network name and Wi-Fi password and then click Update. The resident can use the Deactivate link to deactivate the network whenever he leaves his apartment. And then once again use the app to activate his network when he returns. And now the administrator can go into the Market app and verify that the resident has changed the SSID and their password. The NSC 3000 now supports high availability. Firewalls are crucial for maintaining network operations by controlling and monitoring traffic. In the event of a hardware failure, the entire network could go down, leading to downtime while the hardware is replaced. High availability is a design strategy that ensures continuous operation by preventing single points of failure, keeping the network running even in the event of a hardware or software issue. The NSC 3000 supports active and passive high availability. A high availability pair consists of a primary and a spare unit. If the primary unit fails, the spare unit automatically becomes active and all network traffic is rerouted through it. High availability requires two NSC 3000 units. The spare unit does not require a separate subscription. This feature works with the existing NSC 3000 subscription and does not require any additional subscriptions. To configure high availability for the NSE, open your NSE group and on the basic page, click the box next to Enable HA and click Save. Okay, this concludes this video highlighting the latest features available in CN Maestro 5.1.1. Thank you for your time and have a great day.